Hello everyone, I'm going to be playing ball with my dog while I'm doing this video because I have to do it outside um, because the lighting in my house is terrible and the sunlight isn't that much better um, but anyway, this is my chest and this is where I had the revision done um, about three months ago now it's on the 31st of March with Dr. Steve Merton I had the revision done at Concord Hospital and I had my initial surgery done at Macquarie Uni uh, Hospital, which was almost a year ago now, so I'm almost, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much 11 months post-op from um, my initial top surgery, sorry, <laughs> my door just <laughs> is too fast with the ball and I've got to keep throwing it, otherwise he gets the cranks. Um, so yeah, if I tense, I feel like I don't have much pet because I haven't really been working out my chest that much. But, and then, um, yeah, because I was off tea for so long, like, I feel like my muscles just shrunk a lot. All the work that I was doing wasn't really going that far. Um, so, yeah, I feel like my nipple sits under the muscle, but I don't know if that's just because I haven't developed my pec properly, or I'm just, I just started uh, the last two weeks doing more exercises concentrating on my lower pec, like de decline flies and decline, decline bench press and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I mean, what's a bit of flex, a bit of flex, flexing for my Louie. Um, <laughs> Steve, he had to do the revision because this scar was like this, I don't know, three centimetres wide or something, it's pretty big. Um, no, not three centimetres wide. Well, maybe. Um, it's so distracting. Um... Yeah, so I had to do the revision because this opened up about this wide because my body rejected one of the internal stitches. And um, I'm just going to show you a little bit and then put my shirt back on because it's cold. Um, yeah, my body rejected one of the internal stitches and it just pushed it out and I just had this big hole um, happening. So uh, it kind of just healed up yeah, into a big, big scar. So I got that cut out and... That's all he did for the revision. I'm gonna need to edit this video. Peace and quiet. So my initial surgery was August 2016, so I'm like pretty much 11 months post-op now, which is crazy. Everything went well with that. There was no complications, uh, apart from when it healed, the stitch coming out. My left nipple was a bit of an innie, and now it's starting to poke out a little bit, if you can see that. My right nipple, it's... it's it's a bit flat at the moment, but <laughs> I swear it was a bit perkier last night. And yeah, I'm pretty. I'm really happy with the results. I've got like no weird pockets of fat or or skin or anything. I'm going for my 12 week post op appointment for the revision um, in August, and I'm going to ask about getting my nipple pierced. <laughs> and he'll probably think. <laughs> say a stupid dad joke um, about how nipple piercings are stupid, but um, that's fine because he's hilarious. That's just basically an update on what it looks like. I'll make a separate video that talks about the process of surgery and stuff. If you've got questions, please post them because I get a lot of questions all the time about surgery and I just want to be able to direct people to videos. So let me know what your question is so I can make a video about it. I'll make a video about like preparing for surgery, like prepping what you need for when you recover, how long I think you need to recover, and blah, 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 like that. Um, yeah, I'll make that separate, otherwise I'll just keep rambling on. Um, I'm going to post my photos onto transbucket.com. Have a look at that website if you don't know it. It's got surgery for uh, basically any like trans-related surgery um, for AFAB people or AMAB people. Um, and you can search by location or by surgeon or by the procedure. So there's a lot of top surgery photos, there's fallow photos, there's meta photos, there's pretty sure there's FFS, there's a bunch of stuff. So check that out and I'm going to edit this video now because it's really awkward <laughs> when I have mind blanks and I'm just standing there. <laughs> so yeah, please comment what you want to hear so I can make proper videos.